Oh, I see you, film fans. This is Quentin Tarantino. And welcome to Wong Kar Wai's Chungking Express. Now, Wong Kar Wai, for my money, is one of the most exciting filmmakers that has come out since I've personally been making films. His films have a, like an excitement that, like, well, all the Hong Kong films kind of have a, a majority of excitement about them that's different from American films, but his are a little different. It's more of like a Godardian influence to them, which is not the way most of the, you know, the John Woo, Jackie Chan style of films are. So it makes them very, very different. I've, I find his work very charging. When I saw uh, Chunking Express was when I was with Pulp Fiction. I was at a festival at, uh, in Stockholm. And I had seen a film of Wong Kar Wai's before called Days of Being Wild that I always really loved. And I heard he had a new movie coming out, so I was interested in seeing it. Well, that's where I saw it. And, ah, oh, it just blew me away. I just absolutely adored it. I loved it. It's, I love uh, romantic films. And this film has just like this wonderful, uh, this, this wonderful romantic comedy flavor to it, while at the same time being encapsulized in this crazy, frenetic uh, Hong Kong world, which, as wild as the Hong Kong movies are when you see them in America, if you actually see them in Hong Kong, they don't seem so wild, because that's kind of what life is on the streets there. It kind of has that pace. It's very strange. Now, if you like this film, other films that Wong Kar Wai has done that you should definitely check out is uh, as Tears Go By, which was his first film, which uh, um, is sort of like a kind of like a, a Mean Streets kind of like story set in Hong Kong. And the other another film he's did is uh, Days of Being Wild, which is the first Wong Kar Wai film that I actually saw. And it's a, a sort of like you know again it has a big you know big plethora of actors. Uh, Tony Lung who plays the the cop that uh, whose apartment gets invaded by uh, Fei Wong. He's in uh, um, uh, Days of Being Wild. And uh, it plays like a, a Hong Kong version of American Graffiti. I, that's the film that I first saw him in and wanted to like explore more of his work. All right. Uh, he also did uh, Ashes of Time, which is available. And, uh, and the film that he did after Chungking Express, basically at this moment, his newest movie, is a film called Fallen Angels, which again has a lineage to um, Chungking Express insofar as originally Chungking Express, like Pulp Fiction, was going to be comprised of three stories. But he ended up like just like liking the two that he had, and they, that ended up being story enough. Fallen Angels, more or less, is the third story he would have filmed for Chungking Express if he had done three stories. So, if you like Chung King Express, then definitely check out Fallen Angels because it's, it's you know, more or less the continuation of it. Now, some of the, the gals in this movie, let me give you some uh, info on them. Bridget Lynn, who was the woman uh, with the, uh, uh, the blonde wig in the film, she is more or less considered the, the Greta Garbo of Hong Kong, and she deserves that title perfectly. She's one of the most charismatic stars, I think, in the world. And she kind of has that, you know, she doesn't look like Garbo, but she has that, that wonderfully statuesque face. In this film, this was her last movie. She quit, basically, uh, uh, the business after this film and got married. So this was her, her farewell song. And she not normally, don't, normally doesn't wear the blonde wig. The reason that Wong Kar Wai wanted her to wear the blonde wig is for two reasons. One, he liked the idea of having the uh, Chinese Garbo mask and dark glasses and a blonde wig so you, she's almost recognizable from her, her normal persona. All right, and two, this character was a homage to uh, the Jenna Rollins character in uh, John Cassavetes' uh, Gloria. Yeah, Wong Kar Wai loves that movie, and this, this character was set up to be his Gloria. All right, the other female lead in it, that perky little uh, nymphette, all right, that takes over the, that poor guy's uh, apartment, is Fei Wong. Now, this was Fei Wong's first movie. Fei Wong, though, is the single most popular rock star, all right, in Hong Kong right now. She's a huge smash you know, smash recording artist. And this was her first movie. And she's like, she's known as uh, uh, the Madonna of uh, Mandarin. And, um, and she, this was her uh, first feature. And she just like stole everybody's heart. She won a uh, Best Actress at the, the Hong Kong Film Awards. She's great. She's great in the film. And uh, the, the, the Chinese version of uh, the Cranberry song that you hear in the film is actually sung by Fei Wong. And I'm sorry, I don't think I'll ever be able to see California Dreaming again without like seeing Fei Wong do her little dance. It's, yeah, she's the best. Uh, she's, everyone, I don't know anybody who hasn't seen this movie who hasn't gotten a crush on her. Now, 
The thing that you should understand about Wong Kar Wai's style and what makes it different from the majority of films coming out of Hong Kong is almost all the Hong Kong films are either like wild, crazy comedies, wild, crazy fantasy films that you know, you know have a very Sam Raimi kind of style, and then like the what's become you know, the John Woo, Ringo Lam, ba 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 action films. All right. Well, Wong Kar Wai has all that same energy that like you know this Hong Kong tends to bring to its cinema but he's also taking a cue from the French New Wave films of the late 50s early 60s the films that Godard did the th films that uh, Claude Chabrol, Eric Romer and uh, Francois Truffaut uh, uh, did in their early days all right in particular Godard is his man the film you know the, the, his style his kind of a uh, sense of fun is uh, is what he brings to the film. And it's so, um, I got to tell you, it's just very different in looking at Asian cinema to see the mix of French New Wave inside of that. The thing about the French New Wave is a lot of you might have heard of the term but not know exactly what it means. All right, with the French New Wave, it was a group of young filmmakers that came out uh, in, in France who were basically, they were, they were rebelling against the, what they considered the bourgeois cinema of uh, 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 the, you know, the, the French studio system. All right, and their way to do movies was to take genre pieces and then just kind of break the rules, make, you know, kind of like they have a feeling of making them up as they go along. They weren't studied in film school. They were studied from film criticism and films. And when you look at a lot of those films, they have an infectious quality, almost like if you just love movies enough, you don't need to study. Loving movies is enough to be able to make a good movie. Well, that in its own way is pretty much the style that Wong Kar Wai has brought to Hong Kong films. Now, if you liked uh, Wong Kar Wai's films, you should definitely check out some films of Godard, all right? You know, uh, and some films along the same lines that he did are uh, The Original Breathless with Jean-Paul Belmondo, um, A Band of Outsiders, which the French title was called Band Apart, which is what my company, A Band Apart, is named after, and another film called uh, My Life to Live, uh, Uma Thurman's character in uh, Pulp Fiction was you know, not too dissimilar from uh, Godard's uh, wife, uh, Anna Karenna, who uh, is in a bunch of his movies and has the same kind of haircut. <laughs> anyway, that's it for uh, the first film on the Rolling Thunder video collection, Chunking Express.